Hello, hello, hello. It is the Nisha Jackson Show. What are you, what are you doing, woman? I'm practicing my hand-washing technique that I'm going to explain in a minute. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to talk about So hand-washing we're going to talk about and why that's important. We all have been doing it, but Nisha's got some tips. I have some tips for you, too, before we get going, and that is <laughs> Brand X. Take BrandX.com. This product is awesome. It is a, a, a great drink. I've got one here. It helps you with energy and focus and recovery, and most importantly right now during the death virus is immunity. So um, <clears throat> it's a great flavor. It is orange uh, cream sickle, and you just put the uh, little packet in your bottle of water, and away you go. And it's very simple, and it's awesome, and you can get Nisha's new amazing supplement, Brand X, at TakeBrandX.com. That is TakeBrandX.com. <laughs> All right, Nisha, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I, you know, I'm... I, I'm feeling up. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling positive. Um, I'm, I'm seeing some good things coming out of this, uh, lockdown that we've been in. I can sense that there's lots of wonderful opportunities for people that are going to come out of this. I've talked to so many people lately that have, you know, got new inspiration about things that they want to do with their family, with their health, with their life, with their career. And yeah. I think, I think a lot of people are feeling hopeful mm -hmm. while I still feel like there's a lot of people feeling very depressed and desperate. Now, when so, you say there's a lot of people uh, that have new ideas to, to do with their families, is it get away the hell away from them? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I know. I know. I I feel I feel bad for people that are that are contained with others that they really don't want to be with. Um, it's not that bad. I mean, I'm not having a problem with that. I'm sure you're not either. So that's good. I'm not having a problem with that, but some people are. And um, so today, I thought it would be good for us to talk about hand washing. And mm. not that you haven't heard enough about hand washing, literally at nauseum, right? But I thought it would be good to talk about because I still am watching people wash their hands and you might as well not don't even bother washing your hands if you're going to wash them the way I've been watching people wash their hands. So like what um, have you been I, seeing? What what's what's the wrong thing first? What are you noticing? Well, first of all, two things. First of all, I feel like people are using way too much hand sanitizer. They're using it for like dirty hands. Okay, if your hands are dirty, you should wash your hands with soap and water, not hand sanitizer. Why not? I mean, I keep my hand sanitizer with me all the time, and it's. I know, but if your hands are dirty, you, it, hand sanitizer is is not what you use on your hands when they're dirty. If it's the only thing you have, okay. Okay. But if your hands are dirty, the good old tried and true method of soap and water actually works. Okay. So, but there is a method by which you have to wash your hands. And so two things I'm seeing is people using hand sanitizer exclusively, which actually isn't good for your hands. It has too much alcohol in it and it's going to be very drying to your hands. So don't use hand sanitizer as the only way. I was like, hello, we, we know how to wash our hands with soap and water, or we should know. And so let's use that as our primary method. We're staying home, so a lot of people are in the home and have access to soap and water. Let's use soap and water the majority of the time and maybe use hand sanitizer when we don't have access to soap and water. So literally, Rusty, there's people living at home using hand sanitizer in their home. And that's bad. Well... It, first of all, you have soap and water. You can wash your hands in soap and water and have it be just as effective or more effective than hand sanitizer. Okay. So, and plus, I'm you're not going to run out of soap and water as easy as you will with exactly, a hand sanitizer. Okay. Exactly. If we have a national shortage of hand sanitizer, why aren't you just using the tried and true soap and water? So I just want to, I just, you know, because, you know, sometimes we go crazy with these things. Like we go all the way to the other side and we forget, you know, there's soap and water. And you can get soap anywhere right now. You can go anywhere and buy soap. Just regular soap. You, know, you so, don't have a preferred brand. There's no one. There's nothing. You go, man, that one's better than everybody else. 
No, I'm not. I, I don't want to get into brands this morning. Just soap and water, because the actual technique of washing your hands is really what works. Um, so I want to talk about that, but um, I do see people going a little nutty with the hand sanitizer. And I even saw uh, my son-in-law actually had this. He was using so much hand sanitizer. God bless him. His hands were breaking out. They were like red, like solid red, like oh, breaking no. out. It's too much alcohol and it's <laughs> so drying. It almost caused like an, almost like an eczema kind of a thing, you know, like a skin problem. So I just, I just want to kind of talk about basic stuff today and talk about how do you wash your hands? Because the other thing that I'm seeing is people just putting their hands under water, going like this and then drying their hands, you know, like five seconds or and less. And cold water too. That makes a difference. Well, yeah, I mean, the main thing, it's the it's the method by which you wash your hands. So let's just talk about the five or six steps that you need when you wash your hands, what you should be doing, because there is a way to do it that is more effective. So first of all, you need to apply the soap to the palm of your hand, like one hand, apply your soap to the to the palm of your hand. And then you need to rub your hands together underwater and get them wet and then the second, so the first thing you want to do is put the soap on your hands and you want to scrub your hands together for 20 seconds. Okay, so 20 seconds is the time frame that we want you to be washing your hands. You're rubbing your hands together for 20 seconds and that will get the dirt and most of the germs off of them. And this stage of rubbing your hands together like this should be 20 seconds. And just, you know, everyone has a phone. Just put your phone up there and watch like how long you're washing it. After a while, you won't need to time yourself because you'll understand what 20 seconds is. So just uh, wash your hands for 20 seconds and then rinse your hands and dry them off. Um, but the scrubbing of the hands is kind of important. So I wanted to kind of go over what you should be doing when you're rubbing your hands together for the 20. And some people are doing it for 30 and 40 seconds. That's fine. But 20 seconds is the minimum. Okay. So the one thing that I want you to do is during the 20 seconds, when you're rubbing your hands together, palm to palm like this, we want you to be doing this in the 20 seconds and then... I want you to take this hand or e either hand and put it on top and rub the top of the hand like this. So this is part of it, okay? And then I want you to take one hand and start rubbing the fingers like you're scrubbing the fingers with the soap in your hand, each one of your fingers. Wow, I've never done that, when okay. Get, when That's... you get to the thumb, you have to scrub all the way down on the thumb, okay. both hands, okay? That's intense. So, that <laughs> that is intense it's a workout but, but that's that's how you get you can't just go like this and call it good okay this does not work for 20 to 30 seconds you want to rub on the top both sides and then you want to scrub every single finger including the thumb okay so 20 to 30 seconds this is how you wash your hands soap and water dry your hands thoroughly and dry your hands in the same fashion. So you want to dry your hands because actually drying with a clean towel, not a dirty towel, but a clean towel is actually part of this, the uh, cleaning technique huh. because drying your hands. In fact, some experts say drying, drying is one of the most important parts of hand washing because it's actually dr rubbing off more of the germs. So I just, I thought it would be good to talk about this today, Rusty. It sounds kind of simple, like we've talked about this a lot. We've heard about hand washing a lot, but I just thought it would be good because so many people become kind of extreme in their behaviors when they know something's good or bad for them. So I just thought it would be good to talk about it because most people actually, I shouldn't say most, a lot of people aren't realizing that that's the way you wash your hands and washing with soap and water is better than hand sanitizer hmm. if you have access to it. Yeah, that's, so it's great just, advice. And and I didn't know that the individual fingers, that's good. And then the whole clean towel thing, oh, mind blower. <laughs> so <laughs> it is mind boggling. <laughs> hand sanitizers are great though. And in and in in my next show, um, when I do another show, I'm gonna teach you how to make an at home hand sanitizer that smells better than that stuff that you can buy in the store. And it's less expensive. Okay. So that's it. We're done with this show. That that's was it. it's a quick one. 
Okay. Go back to what go back to what grandma told you to do. Use soap and water and a clean towel. Okay. It's, the, it's, it's basic. That's it's awesome. Basic. Do yourself a favor though. Go and get your brand X. Your brand X, it's uh well, I've been drinking it through the whole show, and you will too. Uh get your brand X at takebrandx.com. Also, uh give me some of those supplements that we need right now and where we should go to get those supplements, Nisha Jackson. Yes. Yes, so the supplements for immunity that we've been talking about for quite some time now is Brand X, because it has a high dose of quercetin in it, which is excellent for your immune system. Vitamin C powder and vitamin D that can both be um, uh, purchased on my website, nishajackson.com. So those are the three supplements that I think are most important right now for people not only to feel well and have good energy and brain function and brain focus, but also to support your immune system, which is vitally important right now. As always, great stuff. Make sure you go to nishajackson.com. That's nishajackson.com and uh, takebrandx.com for all of your supplements and the pickup sticks. Thank you very much. We'll check you next time. I'm Rusty Ambrose. She is Nisha Jackson, and this is the Nisha Jackson Show.